everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have some really exciting news to share with you about the Unicorn Dreams Blanket Crochet Along. Now, the Unicorn Dreams Blanket Cal Crochet Along is being hosted by Lisa from Cute crochet makes now she has an instagram page and a facebook page and it's all being hosted on her website i will link to every single one of those things in the description box below and she started this cal i think three four or five weeks ago now it's an eight week long crochet along to make the most amazing unicorn pastel cute blanket that you have ever ever seen. So when Lisa from Cute Crochet Makes first put up the details um, about this crochet along that she was going to be doing, first of all she made the blanket and I think it was just so popular she's doing it as a cowl. Um, a lot of the squares are her own design. There's a tiny little hint of it all currently on my table here that you can see. And a lot of the squares are her own design. And how she has been doing it, I believe the blanket works up to be pretty big. I mean, you can pick and mix the squares if you want, but it's going to be a very large blanket that you're finished with. And each week she's releasing four or five written patterns for the squares in her blanket on her website. So she's been doing that for the last sort of four or five weeks. Some of the patterns that she used for her blanket, um, I think a couple of them are paid for patterns and a couple are sort of patterns where she's taken elements from other people's free patterns. But as I say, the majority of the squares are her own design. So I spoke to Lisa um, when she first mentioned about her crochet along um, because I pattern tested this adorable, <laughs> look at it, this adorable square. It's so sweet with this little rainbow sleepy cloud, rainbow, well it's rainbow raindrops I suppose. And I was just absolutely enamored with this blanket. It's beyond adorable. So when she mentioned that she wanted some video tutorials to go alongside her written ones which are available for free on her website, I leapt at the chance to be able to do just that. So upcoming on my channel starting next week and I'm not entirely sure because how long it's going to take because each square is actually quite involved so there'll be quite big sort of video tutorials for each one. I'm not sure if they're going to be released weekly or all depends on how quickly I can get the filming actually done and out for you but I am going to be doing the videos for her squares and I am super honored and super chuffed. Um, it's been great working with Lisa. Her squares are all <laughs> so adorable. Can you see these? Let me, I'm just gonna show you a couple of these actually whilst I'm excitedly rambling because yes, I've just shown you this one, but look at some of these. These are samples that I've made up. Look at these squares. They are just beautiful. <laughs> they totally, totally appeal to like my inner princess <laughs> look at them they're so sweet these squares and they're so easy to make they are a little bit time consuming i'm not gonna lie i've spent the last couple of days putting these together the actual crocheting itself pretty quick the assembly and the sewing and all those bits and bobs and ensuring that your none of your stitches are seen on the back look at that that's what takes the time. So this is going to be an actual labor of love for me. Um, I'm really hoping that over time, I'm quite a slow crocheter, but over time, I'm hoping to complete the full blanket myself personally using the other patterns that I won't be filming. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it's coming because I've been sat on this for a little while. Um, I've been keeping it quiet that I was doing them because obviously we had the permade crochet along which kind of coincided with me talking to Lisa in the first place so everything's been shunted back a little week but I'm so excited look at it I mean look at even this one look at this square it's so cool look at the sort of the texture on it this as a blanket is going to be amazing once the blanket squares are all complete um, she's also going to be releasing with the crochet along the join she's going to be joining everything with a flat braid join and i will also show you how to do that once i've got my squares completed too so we can do that together so all the details for lisa's amazing 
amazing unicorn dreams blanket crochet along uh, in the description box below i will link to her facebook page her instagram page and her website so if you don't need video tutorials and you are quite happy following written patterns and this is the first time you've seen this is just a couple of the squares like this is just what six squares out of, I think there's just so many, there's so many, this is a tiny fraction of the adorable squares that she has done. If it's the first time that you've heard about this, then I absolutely encourage you to make a start, go for it, do it. You don't need to wait for me, you don't need to wait for my videos, all the information is up there. I am literally just going to be doing the videos for Lisa's squares for those of you that perhaps want a little guidance with regards to sewing on or some of these like this square is particularly pretty look at this one it's really lovely or it's just for people that want a little bit of extra guidance Lisa's patterns are really comprehensive so she talks you through the whole thing right down to the sewing placement of the little faces and and all that jazz so you don't need to wait for me i'm just excited <laughs> that i get the the honor of doing the videos for her unicorn dreams blanket cal so a tiny tiny bit of information for you i don't need to go too in depth because lisa has got all the information you could possibly shake a stick at over on her actual website but what you will need is obviously your yarn, the yarn of choice. I am following Lisa's color way to the T. So I have bought the right yarn. I've got the right colors. I am following it as she has written it. So, but I mean, you, you're free to do this in any color way that you like, using any yarn you like. The, you will also need a four millimeter crochet hook and a three millimeter crochet hook. Um, it all depends on your tension. Some of the squares work up a bit larger or a bit smaller than the others but the flat braid join will sort out any size inconsistency at the other end so you don't need to worry too much about gauge and all that jazz so it's quite an easy sort of just make a square and then together at the end it all sort of will come together so you don't need to worry too much about tension sizing gauge etc but you will need the two separate sort of hook sizes so a three mil and a four millimeter hook or the corresponding to whatever yarn weight if you wanted to make this in a chunky or whatever just you need the two different hook sizes for her patterns so that's it i think i've covered everything um i am rather overexcited <laughs> and enamored by this cal as i said um so the patterns will start to trickle out on here on my youtube channel from next week um i am aiming for a friday release for the very first which whichever square yeah i'll tell you what tell me in the comments which one you want to see first i'm just going to show you the ones that i've already made up so i've got this amazing sort of 3d sort of daisy square this one's lovely it's a granny square base for this one I have my favorite one, the little cloud. Oh, it's so cute. Um, this one is also really sweet, the little rainbow one. We've got the little heart balloons, which is actually my daughter's favorite, bizarrely. It's very girly and not normally her cup of tea. We've got um, this cute little granny heart one. We've got this bobble heart one. Which one would you like to see released first? There are more to come. I think there's at least 10 squares I'm going to be filming I think but out of these these ones that I've already done which is your favorite which do you want to see first let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can accommodate the most <laughs> the most sort of popular square to release but as I say from next Friday I'm aiming for it to be from next Friday I'm going to be releasing these squares on my channel but as I said, all the information is over on Lisa's website. So it would be amazing if you clicked through or if you followed her on social media, that would be great. And yeah, I'm really excited. They're so cute. So hopefully over the weekend, you can have a nose at her website, choose your yarns, get your stuff together, and we can, we can make a start on the Unicorn Dreams blanket crochet along. So yay, I will see you all next week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And yeah, that's it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be able to finally, finally tell you <laughs> that this is what I'm doing. So yeah, I will see you all on my channel next week from Friday. 
these adorable squares. I have a just a normal crochet video that isn't related to the cow coming on Tuesday as usual but yeah from next Friday unicorn dreams blanket crochet along and I will create a playlist specifically for these squares so they won't get lost in and amongst my channel so yeah have a great weekend and I will see you all next week bye